Some of the challenges we face when building connected TV apps at SimpleStream are Angular is the OG granddaddy proto React before React capabilities of different TV platforms, different memory restrictions, different ways they implement CSS and different rendering capabilities. Next.js is a server-side framework or meta framework on top of React, which is good for building server-side rendered apps. However, that incurs extra costs. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Bits and Bytes. I'm your host, John Burnett, and in this series, we'll be speaking to a variety of professionals within the tech industry to uncover insights, trends, and common industry challenges, all within the time it takes you to finish your coffee. In today's episode, I'll be speaking to Liam O'Donnell, a senior hybrid TV app developer here at SimpleStream with over 20 years of experience. Without further ado, let's dive into episode one. I started out as a Flash Games developer for a .com called now.com, then moved in, into the casino industry, later freelanced working for uh, about 100 different clients building various projects, including uh, a very high profile game that starred David Beckham, football player you may have heard of. I then later moved to uh, UView, building their set-top box software, originally in Flash and then rebuilding it in React and JavaScript and then moved on to SimpleStream, where I'm now taking care of all of the TV devices. Some of the challenges we face when building connected TV apps at SimpleStream are the different levels of support and capabilities of different TV platforms, different memory restrictions, different ways they implement CSS, and different rendering capabilities. So we have to build a framework that works across approximately 200 different devices seamlessly. React is the, the new kid on the block, most popular framework in the world used by every website you visit, except possibly Gmail and YouTube. However, it's not the fastest and best framework out there. TypeScript is a superscript of JavaScript, which boosts JavaScript with some superpowers like type safety and other language features. And it's certainly the, the way to start developing on JavaScript in the future. Node.js is a runner for JavaScript in order to build server-side applications in JavaScript. Now, that may not be the best language for writing back end, but JavaScript is the most popular language in the world. Meteor.js is an esoteric framework that reports to have extremely good performance. However, we're not sure about the community support or level of maintenance behind the framework. Preact, my personal favorite, is the uh, smaller, faster cousin of React and is gaining a lot of attention and traction, especially because we're looking heavily into using it and BBC and Uber amongst others like Airbnb, Guardian are looking to use it as well and are backing the project. Vue.js, pretty good actually, a very small framework written by one dude who's very clever and is not backed by Facebook unlike React, but uh, Maybe not for us, given the, the lack of community support. Next.js is a server-side framework or meta framework on top of React, which is good for building server-side rendered apps. However, that incurs extra costs. Angular is the, uh, the OG granddaddy proto React before React. Bit of a dinosaur framework, but it's making a comeback. three technologies that developers should probably be looking at if they're looking at smart TV development or looking at the job market in general for JavaScript should be learn you some TypeScript, learn more than one framework. So React because it's the most popular one and leads into everything else and possibly another framework like uh, Svelte or SolidJS because it's one of the faster frameworks. 
If you're keen to learn more on the topics discussed within today's episode, feel free to visit simplestream.com, navigate towards our resources section, and there you can find more information. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. I've been John Burnett. Until next time.